And if I'm being honest, this should have been a nightmare. 4.2 Triangle Sum Theorem. Let's see what that theorem says. All right, so given any triangle, ABC in this case, if you take angle A and you add it to angle B and you add it to angle C, you should get 180 degrees. I mentioned this uh, last section, uh, but now it's official. Um, every uh, When you add all the angles up in any triangle, you should get 180 degrees. All right, let's do an example. Um, here we have a triangle. I mean, I didn't want to make it too simple, so I try to complicate it up by throwing a triangle within a triangle within a triangle, hopefully um, to challenge you a little bit more, but it's not too difficult. Here we have 90 degrees. We have to find angle 1. And then we have 30 degrees. So this small triangle we can solve for first. If you add 90 degrees with 30 degrees and subtract from 180, you should get 60. Let's try for angle 2, this angle right here. Notice that these two together are supplementary. They're a linear pair. I drew that a little bit messy, but these two together make a linear pair, so you have to subtract 180 from the 30, and you should get 150. And then finally, for angle 3, which is way up here, if we look at 150 with 20 um, and with 3, those 3 should add up to 180 as well. So add 150 to 20. You should get 170 and subtract from 180. Angle 3 is 10. Very nice. So uh, it's a little tricky, but not too bad. This one actually says tricky. Uh, and the reason why it's tricky is because no picture is drawn for you. It says in triangle PQR, P is 27 degrees. Q is 3 more than twice R you have to find Q and R. All right, so uh, with any of these, it's always a good idea to draw a picture. Um, just start off with any triangle. Um, it's pretty random. Um, it's probably not drawn to scale, uh, but labeling it is important. I'm gonna put P there, Q there, and R there. And for P, I'm gonna put 27 degrees. But then it says Q is three more than twice R. So in the Q spot, I'm going to have to come up with some sort of expression. Three more than twice R looks like this. Three more, that's a plus three, and then twice R is two R. And then the question is, well, what do I label R? Well, R is just R. All right, from there, use the triangle sum theorem. Take all of those three, add them together, and they should equal 180. Combine like terms, subtraction property, division property, we get R equals 50. And then it says to find Q as well. So I'm just going to plug R into there to get Q to be 103. All right, you can always go back and check your answers by adding P, Q, and R all together to see if you get 180 degrees, and you should. Okay. Um, here's another theorem. This one's not too complicated. It's the exterior angles theorem. It sounds complicated, but it's actually very easy to use. The measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures of the two non-adjacent interior angles. All right, so that's a lot of words, uh, a lot of vocabulary words, but we can break it down. And who knew um, a triangle had an exterior angle? Well, here's the exterior angle. It's on the outside. If you were to draw a tail on the triangle, it does form an exterior angle. So it, it says that this angle, the exterior angle, is equal to the sum of the measures 
of the two non-adjacent interior angles. So non-adjacent means not next to interior angles. So not next to would be that and that. All right, here's what it looks like in an equation. The measurement of angle four is equal to the measurement of angle one plus the measurement of angle two. All right, let's do an example. Here it is. There's a triangle with a little tail. All you got to do is take the angle on the outside and set them equal to the two on the inside added together. There you go. Use a little bit of algebra. Solve it out. We get x equals 29. All right. This lesson was pretty short, straight to the point. Two theorems, but both are pretty um, easy to understand. So go ahead and try the homework.